Hey guys, welcome to today's Live at Lunch um, with your host, Stephanie. I'm just kidding. I'm kind of feeling silly today, so hopefully that doesn't feed too much into the video, but it might. I am still trying to set up my lighting so that it's better and we're struggling, but it's okay. Ooh, maybe I got it. Woohoo! I think I got it. Um, fingers crossed. All right, but now we've got that goofy light in my way. All right, hopefully you can still see it. But there's more light. Um, okay, cool, yo. All right, so today I wanted to show you guys how to do some masking. And if you'll notice, I'm like shamelessly promoting Paper Pumpkin because there's only eight more days to get your gym kit purchased. Um, and I don't want you to miss out because it's going to be awesome. Um, it's a box of sunshine and it is designed so that you can send it to other people and just fill it with bright things to help lighten somebody's load. And I've talked to a lot of people who are really struggling right now and they could use that extra pick me up. So my shameless um, promotion of paper pumpkin because it is better than a box full of puppies. Maybe if you like puppies you'll disagree, but I'm more of a cat person so paper pumpkin wins. So. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to show you some masking techniques and this is where you can stamp an image over an image without the lines getting all through it. So like you can see the umbrella and the boots and the flowers so it's, and the handle. That's four different stamped images and I didn't like the way this one looked so I did another one and I was like, ooh, I like that because it's got all of the flowers underneath and then you've got your umbrella and your boots and that actually looks better now than it did when I originally colored it. Um, so I wanted to show you how to do that. I am using the, um, I don't remember what it's called, I think Rainy Day. Just kidding, under my umbrella stamp set. Ooh, that's probably got a bad glare on it. Um, anyway, so I'm using some images from there. And we are going to just stamp away. Um, sorry, I was sick yesterday. I spent like all day in bed, so there was like no peopling, and today now I'm just weird. So, I hope you will bear with me. So I'm going to use Memento ink, just the Memento black, and we're going to stamp here. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so we can see what I'm doing. Whoa! Knocking my camera over. Um, Alright, so for this one, I'm going to stamp my umbrella first. I stamped the boots first when I did my ones I was playing with. And I wanted to try something different. And we're going to go the other way with the umbrella. Whoa. Living on the, on the edge there. Alright. So we're going to stamp the umbrella. Just wherever the heck we want to. And then I'm going to grab a post-it note. So here's my post-it note. And there's still a little bit of ink left. But for the sake of the video, I will stamp, I'll ink it again. And I'm going to stamp on my post-it note where my sticky bit is. And there's a reason behind my madness. There's method to my madness, I guess. All right, so what I want to do is I want to stamp my boots, but if I stamp my boots now, I'm going to have this umbrella line through my boot, and I don't want that. So if I stamp the image on a post-it note and then cut it out, and this one is a quick one to cut out, I did stamp the flower image so that I could uh, mask off some flowers under my boots and umbrella for uh, one of my practice ones. And it has so many itty bitty bits between the leaves that have to be cut out. I'm like, yeah, cutting that one out on video, not the best choice because it would take forever. Um, and of course my sticky part of my post-it keeps getting stuck to the not sticky part of my post-it and creating a hot mess. So let's get rid of that. And then just chop off this little edge here. Okay. So I have stuck it over in my trash pile. So I have this image. So what I want to do is I just want to line it up on the image I stamped on my card. And that is going to protect it from everything. Just kidding. It's going to protect my image from 
just the wily ways of my stamping habits because you know I'm, I'm doing a live video and there's no take backs so I would do something really stupid and mess everything up so I'm gonna stamp my boots now and see I still stamped on my post-it note but the rest of my umbrella is just fine and then I also want to stamp my umbrella handle so I'm just gonna put it right here and this helps protect my umbrella too so that I don't stamp you know like right you can see just a little bit here where I got the edge well now I don't have this word black spot in the middle of my umbrella it looks fine um, and then I do want some flowers because flowers are cute maybe we'll just put these ones we'll put some in the boot and then some next to the boot wait knocked my camera with my head all right oh I don't want to stamp my boot so I did cut out a boot earlier I'm just gonna line that up because I would totally miss where I want to stamp it's just what I do this a little bit so I can line it up where I want it well I hit the paper so we're down and it's smeared woohoo um that's actually not a woohoo so it's it's a good thing this is just a practice to show you how it works um we're gonna stamp a flower here and put one here and maybe do another one right right here that's gonna be weird we're gonna have to do another one too um we'll do it here just, you know, rules of five. You want to do like three, five, or seven. Anyway, so now I can take off my post-it and I have ink on my fingers, which is not cool. And you'll notice that I don't have any wily images all over my nice clean stamped images. And that's exactly what we wanted to do. So now I could leave it black and white or I can color it. So. Um, we can turn this into a blends tutorial now too. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly do a little bit of coloring and I've just got my dark gray granite. I'm going to color the sole of my boot. I think I'm going to do the top up here too. And then my boots are going to be, let's do yellow boots. I, I threw some colors on my desk before I started and I'm like, oh, these will go well together. So I want to have this as a little bit of a shadow and then I'll go a little bit underneath here. This, might, this is my dark um, daffodil delight and then I just want to color over that. Just to help. So I'm coloring along that line just to merge my light and my dark together and I want and I'm going to color over the back boot just a little bit more with my light because that'll help darken it up so it's more like a medium color um, you can do this more like a paintbrush it's usually what I do but if I'm trying to blend then I like color color but I try to hit those spots where I have the dark and I'm trying to merge the two colors or blend them so that they um, they merge better while the ink is wet so like this boot is in the back so I wanted it to be just a little bit darker so I have my yellow boots and we can do we'll do purple this is our purple posy and we'll make sure I'm using my so the markers are labeled so you can see dark and light you can buy these in bundled packs um, so you'll get a light and a dark with each color and you can see in the catalog which hopefully everybody has gotten their um, their new catalog so I'm just tracing the outline of the umbrella segments um, but they are listed in there so you'll see in the, the, the new catalog I kind of like the setup um, where all of the different color families are can't remember the page number off the top of my head um, but you can see the numbers to get your um, cardstock your ink pad your ink refill and then also your stamp and blend um, so 
and I like it because it just helps add a little more definition and then if I color weird I don't get those color lines I love my blends I like my stamp and write markers too but I love my blends all right so then I'm gonna use Rococo Rose right yes that is the one I'm using for this middle segment because we're just gonna have a fun colored umbrella here I don't feel like being boring today there's too much boring um, I'm pretty sure my husband can hear my life it's I heard him shush my kids and he's probably just laughing at me it's the best thing to do watching somebody color is almost as much fun as watching paint dry so I'm sorry guys at least this ink dries faster than paint all right so we've got our umbrella and then rolling stuff everywhere um we'll color in some flowers real quick we'll just do some blue flowers we'll pretend like they're forget-me-nots because they're teensy tiny um once this is colored i i recommend you know stamping and then coloring and then putting together whatever project you're going to do but you can put this on um, a card you can put it on a box you can just make a note card um, whatever you feel like doing i'm going to pull my yellow out here i'm going to do the dark daffodil delight again and get some centers on these just gonna be careful just to only get that middle because I don't want to turn it green because you know yellow plus blue equals green um, make sure my goes on and then I'm gonna color my flowers and instead of doing like do the inside line I'm just gonna randomly color some some of my leaves with my dark granny apple green and then the ones I don't color with the dark I'm gonna go back in and color with the light granny apple green just so that you got a little bit of contrast in the leaves because you know your leaves are never exactly the same and I like having those different shades in there it just makes the color pop you can see here where I dropped my stamp yeah my bad um, but it doesn't look terrible okay it looks pretty bad but we're gonna pretend that it looks great so I'm using I'm using this end so it's more of it's a more solid end where this end is more like a paintbrush and for these little bits it's really nice to have more control where you're where you're coloring instead of like that paintbrushy effect but now you can see ooh, we can make this really cool pull out my Wink Estella pen and we're gonna add a little glitter the umbrella Ooh, that looks like a lot of glitter woohoo sparkles I asked my little sister many years ago what her favorite color was and she said sparkly and you know sometimes that sparkle is fun I'm gonna do it to the boots too I wasn't going to but I'm just kind of like hmm, loving the glitter effect get that in there it looks amazing in person um, but then you can add in a sentiment let me see what we can say today um, we're gonna make this a friendly card and we're gonna stamp on the sentiment no matter the weather we're friends forever and we're gonna stick that in there. Man, my little layout here is looking pretty good. Uh, I've got stuff everywhere and puppies. Um, so no matter the weather, we're friends forever. And we just got our rain boots and our umbrella. And this could be a fun card. Just throw some uh, designer series paper behind there and put it on the card base and it will look fabulous. So let me move that out of the way. So here's the one that we did. And then adding in these so that they are strategically placed and they look cute anyway yeah it's not as cute anyway so there is 
just a simple masking technique and you all you need is a post-it note and a pair of scissors um, so not too not too difficult but there's a lot of different ways you can do it I've made whole backgrounds just masking things off and um, yeah, and this one one nice thing about the stamp set is it is in the new catalog, so you're still able to order it. Uh, it's not going away when the um, ordering ends tonight. So if you want this stamp set, it's super fun, super cute. I have not gotten to play with it as much as I wanted to. I was planning a class with it, and then, you know, everything shut down for the pandemic. Um, so stick that there. Well, it will lose the light so you can actually see it. You can kind of see it, but yeah, now it's really dark. Um, but there's so many cute sentiments. You've got the more closed umbrella. You've got some raindrops you can add in. Lots of different flower options, big and little. And then some awesome sentiments, including this Hello Sunshine, which I think, I don't know. We'll see what the next paper pumpkin looks like, but that would totally work. Anyway, so tomorrow we can order from the new catalog. I have my list ready to go. I think it'll probably get changed. If this is like five lists in one. It's so bad. I think I have a sickness. Just kidding. No, I just, I like my stamping stuff. So I will talk to you all next week on my live at lunch. Bye.